only picture on the coding just a So basically, Rustil model in this time we are just uh, use the lot of factor first of all, which is the mainly uh, Rustil. Okay, just I show you that some theoretical part then. Don't move it. Suppose Rustil. model for soil loss estimation i simply search mm -hmm. well just I simply open this paper So basically in this time we have to calculate this type of factor yeah, here you can see the a is the soil loss then r is the rainfall erosivity then k is mainly the soil erodibility factor then ls mainly slope length and steepness factor then c is the land cover and management factor and p is the conservation uh, practice factor okay so basically okay. uh in this time this uh total five factor we need when you want to work with that uh rusty model okay then we can easily make the soil loss estimation about that so here you can see the first of all rainfall rainfall in this time for the rainfall suppose rainfall uh if you have the ground station data you can also use it or if you have no any kind of ground station data then you can easily use the satellite imagery you can easily use that that chart satellite imagery chip satellite imagery you can also use and further you can easily calculate the uh, rainfall erosivity so in this time here you can see in my code for this, I simply use that this data set. So basically, it also provides that uh, globally uh, precipitation data. We can easily get using this chart spanned data set. Okay, it provides that globally uh, precipitation data. So that's why I just use it. Or and you can see this problem is that it's very high. Uh, this this pixel area is very high, very low resolution about that. But when you have the ground station data, then we also get the more better precipitation map, and our map is also look more better. Okay, so okay. in this time I just use the hair because I have no data about that. And further, uh, we also uh, use here the soil texture. So here you can see uh, mm -hmm. the so rainfall erosivity completed. Suppose we are just using the chart satellite imagery, and this is the formula about that you can see. This is the formula about that 0 0.526 multiplied with the precipitation, uh, subtract with one uh, eight point one two. So this is the equation when you want to apply. Then we can easily get the R value mainly. Uh, rainfall erosivity you know, uh, you know, factor we can easily get from here okay so it's done and in this time here you can see they are using that uh, mainly they are using that uh, station wise data okay so you can see this is the station also there are specific geolocation and also the rainfall okay so that's why in this time they also get the very better about that because they are using the station data okay and then calculate the rainfall erosivity okay and further it, they create this type of map about the rainfall erosivity this is the rainfall map and this is the rainfall uh, erosivity map. Okay, it's done. And further, soil erodibility factor. So for soil, soil erodibility factor in this time, they are used at that. They are mainly used at that. Um, you can see uh, transport of the rainfall and runoff. It was the based on the case. Okay. So in this time, we are just in this time we can use at the soil organic matter, soil structure. Okay, any kind we can use in here. So in this time, for this uh, K factor. I use here that soil texture. So here you can see soil uh, soil texture. Okay, we can use here the soil texture. Soil texture for that uh, K factor. We are just use here soil texture. Okay, so for because it's it easily available about that. And further they calculated in this time they are using the soil type. Okay, soil uh, texture type. This type of things they are using here. Okay, so after doing these things, then we have to need to calculate it. You can see these they are the different types of soil okay yeah? and also calculate the k value about the is uh type and also get the area about that okay then ls factor ls factor mainly it's one kind of topography on soil erosion has been estimated by the slope length and slope steepness okay so for that ls factor we have to we have to need, need, need use the dem data mainly digital elevation model data we have to use in here and further we are just applying this formula 
so basically you can see ls equal to power we have to calculate the follow accumulation multiply with cell size your satellite image cell size divided this value and then power this when you want to calculate this equation then you can get the topographic uh, ls factor okay so in this time also you can see about that they can uh, first of all you can see first of all create the slope from the slope they calculate the follow accumulation and then just use this formula and calculate the ls factor mainly topographic uh, ls factor map they calculate in here okay so it also done about that and further you can see about the uh, topographic ls factor they are also used at that uh, land use land cover map also okay land use land cover map so basically this land use land cover map we can easily get from the management factor map from the land use land cover they also make this type of things also you can see and land use land cover map it's a c factor okay so basically total five factor so c factor mainly land use land cover map in this time if you want you can use the land set image or city elements and create this map and work with that there is no problem so it's the c factor about that and in this time for this land use land cover map for my model here i use at that modis land cover data set okay if you want you can also use the any land use land cover any from any satellite image so in this time we can easily get it globally suppose this data is globally we can easily get the land use land cover data of the modis so that's why i use this data but if you want you can also use that the land set or sentinel for making the land use land cover and then import the land use land cover and also work with that there is no problem okay and further you can see that land cover management c factor is also done mm, then we can get the conservation factor about that basically the uh, ratio of the soil loss for given practice for the okay slope farming okay this c factor about that and finally uh, you can see here first of all you can see uh this is the follow chart about this work so we need the dem data srtm data then from there we can get the dem data sentinel 2 imagery they are used at the land use and land cover data and from the dem they get get the ls factor and land use land cover they uh, get the c factor and p factor and soil map they get get the a k factor and rainfall they get the r factor and then finally they are used at that equation and then get the soil loss model mainly rusli model and calculate the soil loss estimation okay so it's very popular method uh, but uh, for the different time we have to use the different types of data suppose when you want to work for the small study area your study area is not much big so then we have to use the other satellite imagery suppose in this time here you can see for my model for the, it's uh, work for the whole country boundary of bangladesh we try to find out that soil loss map for whole country boundary bangladesh and calculate all of things okay so but when you want to work for the small study area a small study area you must use at the station wise data for getting the better result because when you want to use at this type of chart satellite imagery then this pixel area is more in large and we did not get the better map for the rainfall okay, okay. so that's okay. why for the small study area it's better to use the station wise data and this data convert into uh, idwi technique or interpolation technique we are just make the precipitation map about using this data okay but in this time it's it's a big region so that's why you also get the better map about that uh, annual rainfall or r factor or soil or k factor okay ls factor slope okay ndvi c factor level c p factor soil loss okay and further we are just uh, using this formula this formula just to calculate the soil loss uh maybe classification okay suppose get at then all of less than 10 we consider it is a slight then 10 to 20 we consider it is a moderate then uh 20 to 30 we consider it is a high and very high 300 to 40 it's very high and sever uh we find out that uh, get at then 40 sever very high about that and all of factor we are just applying this formula here you can see So individually calculate all of factors so ls factor then c factor as well as also uh you can see about that uh your p factor okay also you can see the ls factor so all of factor we are just calculating in here and further we are just uh put this formula so this formula is mainly for that uh your soil loss estimation mainly loosely model formula okay you, you can see this formula about that soil loss equal to r factor multiply with k factor multiply with ls factor multiply with c factor multiply with the p factor okay so all of okay. factor creating and then multiply with that then we can get that soil loss estimation 
and it show the result ton per hectare per year unit. Okay, so in this time it show about that. It also work, but uh, I don't know about the accuracy. What is the accuracy about that? Suppose in this time, uh, this type of red color identify about the very high um, soil loss. This type of red color. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So is it a hilly region? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So mainly we can get that high um for the hilly region we find out that high soil loss estimate we can get yeah 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 okay so that's why i think it also okay no problem about that okay and we check the other parameters suppose it's our annual rainfall it look like that but we can easily add the visualization also and we can easily export this type of we can easily export and further you work with that arc map so adding the different types of color for our pieces and i want to add the plated suppose um, for that for that i want to use this type of color for the low precipitation then get it then i want to show this type of yellow suppose get it then i want to show this type of green and high i want to show this type of uh, blue color and then apply so now it also added the precipitation color you can see the uh, precipitation resolution okay basically it's that 5000 meter one pixel cover the 5000 meter area pixel area okay, okay. so that's why pc map look like that we did not get the more better map but when you want to use that the station wise data then you also get that very better map about the precipitation in this time we use the satellite data we see chart satellite imagery globally available for the precipitation okay but this data set chart data sheets also work well for the uh, big study area I guess I was whole okay. country boundary of uh, Bangladesh this time. but in this time we can get this type of result okay after okay. that uh, R factor R factor mainly we calculate from that uh, rainfall data set okay so you can get this type of R factor you want you can also add the color so just click on here and further just simply stressing 98% then we will also get the more better view about of R factor so apply so this is the erosivity about that we can get this type of map basically this type of things identify about that low this type of thing identify about the high high okay mm -hmm. after that soil in this time we talk about that soil texture okay so different types of soil texture we can get this type of soil texture so i click on here and suppose uh, stressing 98 person then see apply so basically in this time it show about the different types of soil okay so it's that uh, I think uh, this data set have a total uh, 12 types of soil texture. Okay? So in this time, it just uh, for your study area for this boundary, all of soil types added in here. Okay. Suppose it can be uh, one to six. This is the range about that. When you download this data and import the arc map, then you also get the more better idea about that. Suppose then using the soil with K factor. And further, it calculate about that uh, slope in part sentence. Basically, using the dam data, we calculate the slope. We can get this type of slope result. Okay, so it's the slope result we can also get from here. Okay, and so from the slope, we calculate the LS factor. This is the LS factor for our study area. Okay, it also okay no problem. Then we calculate the NDVI, mainly normalized difference vegetation index for this study area because it's okay so we can get this type it's also okay so basically we can face the only one problem for that uh, uh rainfall because rainfall is a chart satellite imagery yes then c map c map you can see it look like that we calculate the c map from ndvi okay and further we calculate the land use land cover in this time we are using that uh your modis data so for that i simply click on here and for the modis data okay just a single stress 98 percent so basically modis is ready-made data set here we find out the total 16 classes okay, okay. Uh, suppose vegetation or uh, barren land build up settlement all of this ready-made data set okay so mm -hmm. now i am just applying 
but when you download this data set we can easily get the individual individual class we can easily get it so this is the water body in this time it shows the water body as the white color but when you download that and you can see in this time it also problem because modis for landings land cover in this time it is the 500 meter resolution 500 meter resolution so that's why it's not proper map if you want to create this land use land cover using uh land set imagery 30 meter resolution then you also get the more better map about that land use land also then the p factor and finally we calculate the soil loss it show the overall soil loss map further we are just paste uh, uh just uh put some uh, thresholding technique suppose uh, we just make this type of uh, class about that so this time this time you can see we are just put here this type of thresholding technique after yeah so here you can see for that uh for the soil loss we are just make a uh, soil loss less than five we make the one class soil loss greater than 10 we make the second class soil loss greater than uh, less than 20 we make the another class soil loss uh, greater than 40 we make the another class okay and we get the uh, and get at then we make all class so get at the we can then you can get the total uh, five class about that mm -hmm. so you can see also calculate the area also from here suppose here you can see it will show about this type of work so you can see the slide mainly how uh, less than 10 okay and basically 10 ton per hectare okay you can get this type of soil loss okay. moderate how much high how much and say but how much it will show about this type of chart you can easily get it from here so it also works there is no problem i think but some problem this uh, 